Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. For this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of something very special, something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Um, it's been sitting for uh, about a week and a half or so, and I personally don't really know why I've been waiting so long. But um, I finally decided to open it, so um, without further ado, let's just get right into the package. So as you can see here, it's from uh, DHL Express. So this is from Japan, and um, this is something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. So, um, obviously the title of the video is going to spoil it, but it is, or before I say it, let's actually open it up. Oh, nice. So it is double packaged, which is, you know, kind of just adds to the protection. And we got some bubble wrap. Okay. I'm liking how they package this. So we do have a note right here. So let's actually tear it off and read it. So it says, thank you. Um, whatever else you would like to have in Japanese items, please let me know. I would like to have a good relation with you. Best regards. So it seems like it's like Google Translate. It's kind of scuffed, but then thank you so much for this letter. Um, I really do appreciate it. And that is her eBay and also her email. So if you guys want to purchase this then definitely hit her up, him or her, let's put the note off to the side and Let's get right into it. So I'm pretty sure you guys can see it, but let me actually take the bubble wrap off. And here we go. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is the Marnie box. Um, it's special for the Japanese um, Legendary Heartbeat set. So they released this box. And let me just take a quick look at it. Man, I love like the design of like Pokemon or the Japanese products. Like they have the energy symbols right there. RIP Fairy, gotta mention every time. And this is what comes in this box. So you get a deck box or a card box, I guess. Two boxes of Legendary Heartbeat. You have a deck box with the Marnie artwork, a Marnie coin, and also you get some sleeves of Marnie as well. And I guess a better look of that is on the bottom. So we do get two booster boxes, everything that I mentioned. And yeah, so I think such a cute artwork. Marnie's like on the park bench with her Pokemon uh, Morpeko. Very cute. It's like the Pikachu of that of the Sword and Shield era. But yeah, without further ado, let's crack it open and let's see if we can pull some uh, amazing rares from the two booster boxes. So it is a sleeve, so let's take the sleeve off real quick. And I will be keeping this just because, so I'll definitely put it off to the side. And we have Marnie right there. Let me actually zoom out a bit so you guys can get a better look. But we do have Marnie and then the artwork kind of continues on along the box. But... Yeah, very nice. Oh, there's a Greedent in the tree, if you guys can see that. Very cool. But Marnie, um, for those that don't know, personally for me, I think she is the best girl. And the reason why I think she is the best girl, because I think she has like a very like Sundere personality um, from like playing the Sword and Shield game. And personally for me, like after watching anime, I think I'm a fan of that kind of character. But with that said, let's actually open the box and see what we get. So we have the top right here. Let's take that off. And first thing you see is this right here. So we actually get a coin. Let me actually try to... Actually, I think we just leave it in here. So this is like a purple coin, Marnie coin. It's basically just her face. And we have like the black as well to contrast. Very nice. We do also get a deck box of Marnie with the same artwork. And it kind of goes all the way around. Oh, there's a little uh, Minchino. That's the Pokemon's name, right? Right? I'm pretty sure. And we have Marnie right there again. And we also have some deck sleeves as well. It says Pokemon card game. And these are Japanese sleeves. Uh, there are a lot. I mean, personally for me, Japanese sleeves, there's like so much variety. There's so much different artwork. I feel like the only cool, I guess, sleeves that we get is like in Elite Trainer boxes. We don't really like get artwork like this in the States. So yeah, we have some deck sleeves. Definitely going to be using for um, some special cards. Also, we get two, count them, two. Legendary Heartbeat Booster Boxes. We already opened two on the channel, so without further ado, I'm gonna kind of speed through this opening, so I will open both. Um, and I honestly don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I am gonna be opening both. I'm just gonna be speeding through the pack. So first, let's open it up and let's see the packs because it's gonna be, I believe it's 20 packs per box. It's gonna be 40 packs total. So we're gonna be opening a lot of packs. And for those that watch my videos and know how I open booster boxes, I'm like the slowest person. So, yeah. I try my best to speed it up in this one. But yeah, so we have the two booster boxes right here. Pop the lid up, pop the little tab out. 
open these flaps up and we have two booster boxes so what I'm gonna do is um, like I do with all Japanese packs is cut the tops off and then I will be right back all right so I have all the packs cut and I try my best not to cut any cards inside but as you can see we have 40 packs so these are one booster box each so we have two of them and yeah without further ado let's just get right into it so it's been a while or it feels like a while since I've last opened um, these packs so I don't know if there's a card trick I think there is but then I know that if you get a V card then you can also get the V max so not really sure how to do it so we'll just go straight through it so we have a whooper electric and I'm pretty sure you guys seen this artwork um, before we have a Komiya art a Zera Aura, I believe um, this is uh, uh, something that we needed. Pokemon Catcher, Lycanroc, and an Executor. So um, I think for like the first maybe like 10 packs, I'll be slow rolling. And then for the next few, um, or I guess the remainder, I'll just be just going through them right away. So we have a Rockruff, a Trumbeak, almost forgot the name again, a Delmize, a Steelix V, Marnie, best girl, gonna say every time, a Metagross, and a executor so um since this is her box you know just gotta say it because it's a marnie box marnie's best girl what can i say actually let's put all the marnies out just to keep track of how many we can get within two booster boxes am i weird it's all right it's okay we have a picky peck a uh, shuppet a whooper almost blanked on the name a togekiss v very nice and a togekiss v max very nice Love the little swirls around the VMAX cards. The rainbow swirls. A Pokemon Catcher, a Fortress, and that is it. So we're used to having like 10 cards, but then these packs only have 7, so not as bad. And also, I should be sleeving these as I go, but I feel like it just takes so long, so let's just do this for now. So we we'll do Hollow, V, and then VMAX right here. If it's a, uh, what is it? If it's an amazing rare, then definitely gonna sleeve that up. But for now, we'll just keep it like that, and then once I get through the first half, I will sleeve the cards up. So Weedle, the Dene, a Picky Peck, a Diancy Hollow, a Beedrill, a Tough Energy, Stone Energy, and a Metagross. Okay, on to our next pack. We have a Rock Ruff, Beldum, Electrike, Oh, Shaman Hollow, Giraffe Rig. Actually, we'll put a Giraffe Rig on the side too. Love the Giraffe Rig artwork in this set. Like, look at it. It's in the Sahara Desert. Just like, you know, watching the sunset. Love this artwork. We have Moo Moo Cheese and a Garbantula. Um, it's not a non hollow It's just, I'm so used to like having the, the last card in like a booster pack be like a non hollow because of like, the card trick. But no, it's not. We have a Joltik, Riolu, Kakuna, Genesect Hollow, very nice. A Hero Metal. Lycanroc, and a Pinkerchin. We'll do a few more packs and then after that I'm just gonna breeze through it. So we have a Matang, a Shuckle, Delmize, Ampharos, love Ampharos, Rocky Helmet, Executor, and a Lucario. Let's do two more. And then after that we will just breeze through them. So we have a Clefairy, Trumbeak, Pineco, a Zorark? No. Zekrom. Jeez. Blanking on my legendaries. We have a Switch, Quagsire, just derping into the water, a Fable, and that is it. Okay, last pack before we just go through them. We have a Rock Ruff, Shuppet, Weedle, a uh, Dialga Hollow, very nice, Alistair, definitely want to get the full art if we can, a Giraffe Rig, awesome, and a um, Manectric. So let's just breeze through these now. So let's see what we can get. So we have, okay, Reggie Rock, Hollow, very nice. A Beauty, Toucan Sam, Stunfisk. Man, it's been so, or it feels so long since I've last opened these packs, but hopefully you guys still enjoy this. We have a Tornadus Hollow. Yeah, this set is just amazing. A lot of people, since a lot of people have been getting back into the hobby ever since like the pandemic and everything, um, this set has been very popular. And I believe, don't quote me, but I think Japanese did a reprint of this, so it's a lot more... Okay, okay, hold the phone, sorry. We have a Steelix V Full Art. And I actually like the green, like the yellow in the background. You would think for like Steelix, like, it would be like brown, like the um, like his normal V, but then to have it be like green and yellow, I'm a big fan of that. 
Green is my favorite color, but then I just like the contrast that it has for this card. So we have a Steelix V. That's very nice. So we'll make a separate pile for the full art as well. We have a um, Twin Energy, I believe. Stunfisk, Neon Mega. Very cool. All right. So going on to the next pack. Let's see what... Okay. Huh. So first things first, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. We have a... Where's my sleeves? Where are my sleeves? Come on, come on, Sam. Come on. We have three amazing rare Rayquazas. And for those that are watching this for the first time and have never seen this kind of card before, let me actually pull this out real quick. If you guys can see, like, it's basically like a glitter bomb of just, like, rainbow everywhere. And also, if you guys take a look at, like, the energy symbols, like, even that is holographic. Even, like, the energy symbols for, like, the attack is holographic. Even like the little trim around like the retreat cost, the weakness and everything is hollow. This amazing rare A, to note that it's an amazing rare is holographic. This little symbol up here is holographic. Like everything about this card is just, it kind of gives me like a EX era vibes, you know, where it's not just like the picture portrait, but it's also like around the card as well. So this is my third Rayquaza. And honestly, I'm not complaining. If I would have three of any amazing rare, it would definitely be this one. But I mean, I'll take other ones as well. Come on, Pokemon. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but like Rayquaza is like outlined and like gold. So yeah, so awesome. So we have, let me actually do this. So we have Giraffe Rig, Marnie, and we'll put the amazing rare right there. Okay, and I'm pretty sure these cards you don't really care about. We have Alistair, Manectric, Metagross. So moving on to the next one, we have a um, Colossal V, which should follow up with a V Max as well. So it's it's kind of sad, but I feel like you know because it's kind of guaranteed to get a V and a V Max, they aren't as quote unquote rare because they kind of just like give it to you, which is fine. But I think the main reason they kind of did that was because of the system that they were doing for um, these events for Legendary Heartbeat. Because I believe since there's 20 packs per booster box, um, I think what they did was they gave each participant 10 packs, which is like half of the box, and they were supposed to make a deck of it. So to have a Colossal and like not the VMAX, or to have the VMAX and not the V, it was kind of like, it didn't really make sense. So I think that was their way of like encouraging players to like, you know, play those V cards. We have a Xerneas Hollow, and nothing too exciting there. Almost winding down for the left side. I don't know why I always start with the left side, but that's just what I do. Another Diancy, that's a uh, duplicate. But guys, look at the artwork for this booster pack. It's just, ah, uh, so good. Pokemon does, or the Japan um, Pokemon packs are so much better in my opinion. Magirna, oh, Giraffe Rig, can't forget him. And let's see what we can get from these last two packs on the left side. Okay, we have a 100% um, Zygarde. Looks like a Gundam or like a Ben 10. Thing. Uh, Opal, which is a uh, supporter, and our last pack for the first box. We have a Trumbeak and a Lugia Holographic. Short intermission, let me just leave these cards up and we will begin with the second booster box. So I have everything from the first box um, in the sleeve, so let's move on to the second box. So getting right into it with the pulls. So we have another Colossal and a Colossal VMAX as well, very nice. Let me know if you guys have opened the set or want to open the set or if you guys are just not interested at all. So we have a Zygarde because I don't know. Um, it seems like a lot of people are interested in like the Japanese products. Obviously English products are still going to do well because like we live in the States. So like it's more readily available. But let me know if you guys have bought any of these boxes because for me, I'm a huge fan of this. I definitely want to buy more. I do want to keep like a few sealed just because, you know, just as a sealed collector kind of thing. But, um, definitely want to open a lot more. I do want to, you know, like, complete some... What is it? Complete some sets. You know, I still need, uh... What is it? Like, the other amazing rares. I only have Rayquaza, which I'm not complaining about. But hopefully, in this booster box, we can pull another amazing rare. And from the looks of it, when I was sleeving the cards up for the first box, I think the pull rates are... One full art and one amazing rare, and the rest are just like a hodgepodge of like the VMAX and the VMAX um, and the holographics and stuff. So we have Alcremie and a Alcremie VMAX, 
This one's very colorful, which is why I like it. Very nice, very uh, vibrant. And we have a Metagross and an Opal. All right, this one, we have a Zera Aura, Hollow. Yeah, let me know if you guys have bought this or are interested in buying it. And if you guys do buy it, where do you guys buy it from? I think eBay is like the most, I guess, or has the most readily available. But um, I know a lot of people are like price gouging, just trying to like get the most money for it. But then, what do you guys think about like this whole like boom with like the Pokemon? You know, like a lot of people are entering the hobby. I have a lot of questions that I kind of want to have a discussion about, but then... For me, I just want to have a discussion. I'm not really that knowledgeable, but then just want to hear your opinions on some things. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. Ampharos V and nothing special there. On to the next one. Please, if we can pull the Jirachi, that will be a pretty nice, uh, amazing rare. Another draft rig. Got to add it to the collection. Like, I don't know about you guys, but this draft rig artwork is so good. So good. Unfortunately, we only did get one Marnie so far, so hopefully we can pull another one. Okay. Okay. Nice. So it's not a Rayquaza, which is good. We have a Zacian Amazing Rare. Let me just get my sleeves real quick. But before we sleeve it out, let's take a closer look at this card. So this one, again, is like the glitter bomb effect, but like the rainbow in the background. Zacian. He's not really outlined, it doesn't seem like. But yeah, like the energy symbol is holographic, the attacks, or the energies for the attacks are holographic, the little trim. Such a nice card. Like, it's like, kind of like Gold Star-ish, kind of like uh, EX era, EX hollows and stuff like that, but man, like, do you guys see that pattern? Like the sunburst pattern kind of thing? Oh, it's so nice. Such a nice card. And Japanese cards are top-notch. They're so good. Like, quality is like, number one thing. Unlike English cards, which is actually very sad. So we got the Zacian Rare or Amazing Rare as well. So, very nice. Xerneas Hollow, and that is it. So, it's kind of a shame where like, you can only get like one per box. So, in a perfect world, I know Leonhardt did this, but he bought six boxes and he pulled all six um, Amazing Rares. So, that kind of goes to show like the luck. Yeah, in the perfect world, you buy six booster boxes and you got all six amazing rares. For me, this is my fourth booster box and I pulled three Rayquazas and um, one Zacian. So the odds couldn't be in your favor. So we have a Zarude. Looking forward to the movie when this comes out. Um, the Pokemon movie Coco. And still no Marnie. Um, hopefully there is a Marnie in this booster box, but let's go through this. We have another Diancy, Pinkerchin. Oh, speak of the devil, Marnie, best girl. I know that the movie got pushed back because of like, you know, what's happening within the world. So yeah, that is, oh, another one, best girl. So that is a big reason why, you know, it was delayed. I think it came out in Japan. And I know that the tickets in Japan were kind of related to like the in-game event in Sword and Shield where you could get a shiny um, Celebi along with um, the Zarude Pokemon through like the mystery gift. So I know some people already have it through like, you know, like people trading them online and stuff. But then I'm slowly waiting for a US release um, whenever that may be. So who knows when that will be, but then just patiently waiting for that. So last two packs. Should be a full art? Should be. That's the... Okay, speak of the devil. We got a Alistair full art. Man. Like, look at the pattern. Like, the hollow pattern. Like, the swirl in the background. I'm trying to get the light to hit it in a way where you guys can see it. So, for me, I only played Pokemon Sword. And I never was able to fight Alistair. Because Alistair and, I believe, the Ice... Lady, Ice Girl, those are in Shield, and I actually lent it to my friend Zach. But um, once I do get it back, I do want to do a playthrough of that before the Crown Tundra comes out. But we have a Alistair. Let me actually sleeve this bad boy up real quick. Be yeah, very happy that the full art trainer was Alistair, not Opal. Nothing against Opal, it's just I think Alistair is a lot cooler. That pattern right there is so sick. And like the colors, it's like the dark blue, like black, yellow highlights on the side and stuff. Such a nice card. And of course, the quality is just top-notch for Japanese cards. 
And nothing special there. And our last pack. What can we get from this last pack? We have a Regirock. And that is it. So let me organize everything and we'll do a quick recap of what we pulled. Alright, so let's get into the recap. So starting off with, um, I guess, the non-hollows. Those are the cards that I personally like. Are the Giraffe Rig. We have four of these. Two, three, four. Actually five. Actually a lot more. Six. Okay. And three best girls of Marnie. So unfortunately, it is not the holographic, but still. Very nice card. And this is a Marnie box, so we do have to shout her out. And moving on to our hits. So for every booster pack, you do get a guaranteed hollow. So let's just go through them. We do have a lot of duplicates. So we have two Dialgas. A Magirna. A Zygarde, 100%. Zekrom. Guys, these sleeves are definitely making it a little bit difficult to stack these. Zekrom. Zeraora. Genesect. Regirock. A Tornadus, Xerneas, Lugia, and I think from here on we're getting more than two, I think like three or four. So we have a few Shamans here, we have a few Diances, I believe we have most of these. And now we're getting into the V card, so we have a Zarud V, a Steelix V, a Creamy V, Ampharos V, I believe we have two of these, and also two Colossals, two Togekiss, and we're getting into the VMAX. So we have a our Creamy VMAX, Colossal VMAX, we have two of these because we did pull two um, Colossal Vs, a Togekiss VMAX because we did pull two of those as well. And we're getting into the full art. So we did pull a full art Steelix from the first box. And we also did pull a full art trainer, which is a, or full art supporter, Alistair, which is a very nice card. I like the dark ambiance, like the dark vibe that we're getting from this card. Very like ominous. And we're getting into our two amazing rares. So we have a Zacian and my third uh, Rayquaza. So by no means am I complaining that I have a third Rayquaza, but do wish I could have gotten maybe the Jirachi or like other ones. But yeah, so that is it for this box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, hopefully it was enjoyable. Like I said, um, this was from e as as you saw earlier, this was bought off of eBay from that seller. Let me actually find a note real quick. So if you would like to buy the box yourself, um, please check out her link. Um, it actually got here fairly quick. Um, you know, eBay isn't really that, um, I guess, accurate with their shipping estimates, but it came in within about a week. So yeah, and definitely a huge fan of this box. Um, yeah, like the Marnie box itself, very cool. And also even looking at the, the, the bottom half, we have all the energy symbols right there. RP Fairy, gotta mention every time. We also have like the Pokeball symbol. And yeah, so I think Japanese products definitely are a lot better in quality than to the English variants. But that is gonna be it. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please give the video a like, um, a thumbs up. If you guys want more content like this, um, I do plan on opening maybe a few more. And after that, I think I'm just gonna buy the rest of the cards because having one amazing rare and one full art in each box this is going to be a little bit pricey to complete the set especially since you know nothing is guaranteed but yeah so um please subscribe for more videos like this uh, turn on the bell notifications for future videos and yeah that is it thank you guys so much for your support we did recently hit um 300 subscribers so i'm very thankful very grateful for the opportunity to just i guess um provide content for you guys that you guys enjoy so thank you guys so much for your support um i will continue my best um from here on out I think ideally the goal for the end of the year will probably be like 500. Hopefully we can reach that, but we'll see. But thank you guys again so much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.